All right, so I was in the Discord and I ran across somebody and he gave me a good idea. Um, there's a certain way that I eco, but the reason why I eco the way that I do is because I know that I can hold the next wave. So I'm going to make this video on how like when to make mer when to make workers and how to make workers for noobs because what I was watching was him always being above in units and you don't always need to be so let me show you real quick i'm gonna jump into a rank game and this video is gonna be called uh how to make workers for noobs it's gonna be the general rundown on when to make workers for for noobs at least if you're just starting the game out or whatever this is going to be the easiest way i think this is my opinion this is what i think but uh i'm gonna lock in the zeus you don't have to lock in the zeus you can lock in actually zappy boy is my favorite character but still zeus zeus is a good unit Zappy Boy is my favorite unit, though. Um, I haven't played with snakes yet, neither, though. I might want to do some uh, serpent, some serpent gameplay. Get the surround on them. So let's lock in. Let's go serpents. The sea serpent. Uh, what did I get? To Nova. I got Herpy. I got Polywog. Okay, we're not going Soul Gate. So I guess we can go Lord of Death. I don't know if I have the econ for that though. Um It's magic damage. This is Pierce. So let's go serpents. I don't want to play harpy though. APS? No. We'll go nightmare. Alright. So right now you start off with 250 gold and 20 mythium. If you look, you can see what is good and what isn't. I know that if I put down an eternal wanderer right here. That will bring me up to one yellow. And if I drop a polywog right in back of it, or right in front of it, that brings me down to 10. And this right here should be good enough for me. So then I'm gonna grab two workers because I'm in the green. I may be down by 10, but I'm in the green. Now the reason that I put the polywog in front of the Eternal Wanderer is so the Polywog could start attacking while the Wanderer runs up and will tank the damage and the Polywog gets to continue to attack. I will always put my tanks in back of my ranged units. And that's the way that I increase DPS. When they start attacking faster, it's good. I have 20 Mythium, so I can grab a Snail. And that gives me my economy right away. I just got the six income right now because I decided to put down a, uh, I decided to grab a snow. I have enough for a sea serpent, which is 90. So to be safe, I'm going to grab the sea serpent and I'm just going to put him down right here. Oh, I didn't get to put him down. Yikes. That was a bad move on my part. I should have put him down. I didn't.
so I'm probably gonna be leaking very heavily this round. Which means that I'm gonna have to make up for it. But I can grab a snow. And I missed out on all the gold from right here. So yeah, you're on a you're on a time. That's gonna hurt pretty bad. Stuff to make up for. Okay, now I'm way down in the red way down in the red so i'm gonna grab my sea serpent i'm gonna drop my sea serpent like right there i'm still in the red so let me upgrade this polywog to a seraphim and now i'm back in the green and then i can upgrade the king with the 20 mythium i haven't grabbed another worker yet but I am in the green now. You can come up here to this icon where it says wave three and click on what's attacking you like the little fish you can click on that and the wave info will show up i know that next wave the flying chickens have impact and they have swift defense which means that pierce and swift is good against this wave so let me come over here and check my units the sea serpent has swift and it has pierce pierce does bonus damage there's the swift um, the Polywog has Swift Resistance, but it's missing the bonus damage. I missed out on grabbing a Snail. So let's drop another Sea Serpent. Oh, that brings me back up into the green. I have enough for a Worker, yes. so let's grab a Worker. If you're a new player... You can turn auto one, and auto will help you a lot. I have 20 Mythium. I can grab a snail more income I'm gonna wait for next round I'm gonna see what uh where I'm at I'm down by 50 so what's good magic is good swift is weak Pearson swift is weak fortified is resistant but magic fortified is good so I know that the Desert Pilgrim is good, but he costs a lot of money. He costs 135. But I'm gonna drop him anyway. And I'm gonna upgrade. Now I'm up in the yellow a little bit. But I have the strong unit. I'm up in the yellow. see what's good for next wave fortified and swift is good next wave so do i have any fortified swift i have i mean impact impact and swift is good so i can grab a sea serpent i can grab another eternal wanderer magic does bonus damage here we go magic and swift the polywog 
So I'm still in the green. And if I wanted to drop one more polywog, that would cost me 15, but I'm in the green. Yes. So let's grab workers. I have 48 left over. So let's drop one polywog. I can drop another polywog. And I can drop, oh, I was gonna drop another polywog. Because polywogs are good while I'm still in the green. I have Mythium, so let's send a lizard. We cleared that way fairly easily. Coming up to 20 Mythium again. Let's grab a snail. Now what's good this way? We get Pierce damage from Serpents. Magic damage is weak. The impact damage from the Eternal Wanderer does bonus damage. The Desert Pilgrim's weak. This guy right here, the Sandbag, he's the strongest unit. He has the Arcane and the Impact. So let's drop him. I'm back in the green with the Mythium. Upgrade the King. I have 20 Mythium, so I can grab a snail, but if I get 40 Mythium, I can send a Lizard, but I'm going to grab the snail before the round ends to ensure I get the income. I'm going to grab another snail. This is, just, this is just economy. Now what's good this round? Magic and Swift does nothing. Pearson Swift does nothing. Impact Fortified, nothing. Magic Fortified, nothing. Pierce does bonus damage. Swift is nothing. And Arcane Resistance. So I don't know. Let's let's upgrade one of our uh, one of our snake guys. Because we can upgrade one. Or we can drop one. Let's drop one. There we go. Now we're down ten. But I can grab workers on the green. The reason I drop one is because it costs less than uh, upgrading one. Okay, now with this Mythium, I can grab a Lizard, but I'll grab a Fiend. We're at 111 economy. We are at 10 workers, and we are still in the group. Could have grabbed the snail, but I didn't. So what's good this round? Polywog does bonus damage. The Eternal Wanderer is good this round. So how much does it cost to upgrade one? Costs 275. Costs 125 to build another one. So let's build another one. Look, I'm in the green. Now, what else goes good? Magic and fortified. But I'm in the green, so I'm gonna build work. Not enough gold. With this Mythium that I had saved up, I could have upgraded the king, but I didn't.
have 80 lithium now. I can send the dino. Okay. The 80 lithium, I sent the dino. What's good for this one? Flying can be upgraded. Oh, sea serpents are good this one. And I'm down 365. That's telling me it is time to upgrade. So let's take this sea serpent and let's upgrade. I'm down 180. I have exactly 185, which means that I can upgrade this other sea serpent. Now we're up by five. Perfect. We're in the green. I have 40 mythium. I can upgrade the king. And look, we are at 13 workers. 13 workers. And we killed them. I have 40 mythium. Send a lizard. For this, I'm just going to go economy, because income is the most important. Um, let's upgrade the king. What's good this round? Magic? Nope. Sea Serpent? Nope. Eternal Wanderer? Nope. The Desert Pilgrim? Is. Then I'm down 215. So what happens if I drop another Desert Pilgrim? <laughs> Look, I'm back in the green. I'm down by 80, which means I can grab workers. In the green, grab workers. I have Mythium. Let's upgrade King Spell. Now we're at 17 workers. In the green, grab workers. Mythium. I can save up a little bit, but I still have time in the round. Will I be able to get a cannon here? Almost, almost able to get a cannon here. Here we go. 100. Let's go. There's the cannon here before the round ends, and I have my income. Now, what's good here? Sand Badger, weak, weak. Nightmare, weak. Bonus damage. The Pilgrim, magic resistant. Um, so, Pierce damage does bonus, so let's upgrade this other snake, I'm down by 215, and I could drop a nightmare, let's drop a nightmare, I'm down by 30 and I can grab a work. I'm in the green, I grabbed another worker, we are now at 18. I have 120 lithium right here. So let's Let's hire a drake before the round ends. Now, what is good this round? The sand badger gives impact damage. Swift is resistant. Magic bonus. Magic swift. The polywog is good this round. So let's take these other two polywogs that we had. And let's upgrade them. We're down by 130. Let's grab two more polywogs. And let's upgrade them. Now we're up by 60. Let's yes. grab two workers and uh, upgrade the to meet you. Okay. Yes. 
16 at the end. Seventy, eighty lithium. Let's grab the dino. We cleared it. We don't know when our stuff is gonna reset. So in order to ensure our income, we grab the dino. Here we go on another twenty. We can grab a snail, but as you can see over here, they leap. So it gives us time. There's our forty. Let's grab a loop. And the round ends. The round's done. Now let's see what's good this round um the impact damage is good uh the pierce damage from the snakes is good but the sand badger is what is the best here so if we drop another sand badger we're down four four five now we're down 250. um 195 i can drop another sand badger. We're down 55. That's good enough. Let's grab workers. Not enough gold. And upgrade the team. Now we're at 23 workers. 24 workers. He wants to send on Cardinal. So let's turn auto off. might leak here that mimic is pretty good all right we're gonna leak here a little bit just a little bit so now we're saving some lithium i know that i'm gonna send them a uh a... i'm gonna send them a safety note. and what is good this round magic does bonus damage the magic from the pilgrim does bonus damage and arcane resistance so we have our healers what happens if we drop another healer maybe another healer okay we got four healers let's drop some polywogs Oh, I didn't get a chance to upgrade them. Well, I missed that round. So all this money, I'm gonna drop into work. Not enough good. All the money I made from wave 15, I'm dropping into workers. This way I have enough money Not enough gold. to uh to send on cargoes. Let me ask them uh what are we sending? Shut down. What are we sending? I still have 88. Yes. I'm gonna drop that. And uh I don't know, let's... Let's send an orb. What's the most expensive we can buy? We'll send him an orb. Now, what's good this round? This round is nightmares. So let's upgrade our nightmare. We're still down by 700. Um, Snakes are good this round. So let's drop a snake. And I can't upgrade it, so let's drop some more snakes. We're down by a lot, but we have a lot of mythium. And uh, send a pack leader with the orb and a lizard. There we go. We are now at 34 workers, but we're in the yellow. So we need to do something to get us out of the yellow. We 
might leak this round. Alright, yes, we're gonna leak this round. But we have our workers up, now we can save shut money down. until we get back into the green. Our opponent got shut down. Pretty hard, actually. And this is gonna be money for us. What is this? Wave 17 is coming up. So we're gonna save Mythium on wave 17. And we're going to send on 18. But we're in the yellow. We need to make this up. We need to get out of the yellow. So I don't know how we're gonna get out of the yellow, but we need to make it out of the yellow. So I'm going to start upgrading my stuff. Let's see, what's good this round? The Eternal Wanderer is on. So let's grab both of them. Let's upgrade them. We're in the yellow. What else is good this round? Let's drop another Eternal Wanderer. And we can't upgrade it. Um, Let's upgrade all of our Polygons. Let's turn those ones into tanks. Look, now we're in the green. And uh, let's drop one more polywog. Let's drop some more polywogs. There we go. But we're in the green, so that's good. going to send and the eight eyes is this gonna be gg for us no we might have just lost that if we wouldn't have sent those okay is this gg for us no we'll survive this it's gonna hurt but we will survive um i sent them a kraken I sent them a shaman. Can I get a pack leader in there? Let's see if I can get 160 for a pack leader. What is good this round? This round is magic damage. Oh, polywogs this round are good. So let's upgrade all of our polywogs into seraphims. And uh, we probably need more tanks. So let's grab some more tanks right here. And right here, and let's send them a pack leader with this. And, uh, and a hermit. Why not? I sure hope so. Okay, they both shut down, which means that if they start getting attacked before we do, we have a good chance at winning. Okay, yeah, they're gonna get attacked before we do. But it's not enough for us to survive this. Yeah, we're gonna lose this game. Defeat. <laughs> maybe, maybe grabbing all of those workers on 15 wasn't the best idea. But I fell behind just a little bit. I was around 300 down that game. But if you're in the green, grab workers. 
if you're down by 50 i would say i would say you always want to be up but it's it's okay to be down because you also got to think about your bonus damage and your resistances which help out the unit even more so if you're 50 down you have a really 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 high chance of still clearing your wave so grab workers why not grab workers just remember that for a new player if you're in the green grab workers except if you're 500 600 down and you're still in the green you might want to build units but yeah that's just a basic gameplay if you enjoyed the video and you thought it was informative leave a like uh subscribe for more content and i'll be making more videos like this i will see you all in the next video